Hey guys, welcome to this week's Roll and Cut, and this week we are going to be talking about diet. Hey guys, so um, the thing, a reason. Okay, first things first. You may notice there are three uh, good-looking people here. The ugly one is away. Um, he's been in London for a few days. And it's been lovely. Yeah, and it's we been can quiet. fit in. Now. We can fit in. We can all fit in on the camera. We don't have to like squish in. Look, this is Aisha. That you know, that half face you've been watching for the last few weeks off the screen. This is actually Aisha. It's actually. Um, it's actually me in the cupboard. We do. We keep her in the cupboard. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, yeah, Chris. Yes, I haven't bullied this week either. Still. I haven't been, been bullied this week. It's been great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Bullied me so much. We do miss him, though, don't we? Mm. Mm. I, I miss you, mate. <laughs> um, I have to actually fucking do stuff now. So, um, anyway. So, I wanted to talk about diet because Instagram, Facebook, a lot of the guys who have been nutritionists for a long, 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 long time, I'm not going to name any names, but there's a lot of them at the moment who have been I've written books and done stuff on nutrition, um, and now this, they're kind of like going back on a lot of things. They're changing did. their mind. They're changing their mind, in, a, in you know, which is good because you know research and stuff like that. You know, if you're a professional, then you should listen to research, read your research, and then adapt your whatever it is you do. Of yeah. course, whatever you do according to the research. My issue comes is if somebody's been banging the door for twenty years on a particular way to eat. And then all of a sudden goes, actually, do you know what? That might be wrong. Because um, research has shown that actually. I'm, I'm, I'm of the belief, if you go to your doctor right now and your doctor says to you, you guys can like agree, disagree. If a doctor says to you, look, your weight or your health currently, the way your lifestyle is currently, means now you have high blood pressure, you are at risk of diabetes, and you are at risk of this, this, and this, and this, mm -hmm. you should really try and lose weight. And you know that really you find it easier to lose weight by cutting your carbs out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's saying, no, don't cut your carbs out because you don't need to go keto. But you find being keto it's the way for you to do it and manageable for you. That's what, 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 that. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Cool. I thought it was just me. No. no. Cool. And I think, well, so you going on that, I've actively had two or three clients probably in the last six months who will be able to stick to their routine better if they do not have X, Y, or Z. So if that person, if we go, right, you've got 1,700 calories and that's your calorie allowance, perfect. Yeah. But you go, it doesn't matter where they come from. As soon as you say that and they can have fats, protein, carb, they can't control themselves. Yeah. But if you take the carbs away, for example, they find it really easy to keep them in the 1,700 calories. So sometimes eliminating a food group, I'm not just saying always eliminate a food group, but sometimes it works for an individual. And if it works for an individual and they can maintain that over a 12, 14, 15 week period or even longer than that for most people, then do it. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not losing out any nutrients you might need or anything like that. No. Nope. You still get them from your veggies or from your fruit or whatever it is. All you're doing is stopping your starchy carb intake. We're not saying live like a monk for 16 years. No. But everyone, everyone's different, so it's like Matt mm. said, if she's going to cut carbs out, but some people cannot cope with no carbs. Whereas, so I've got yeah. some people in my group who I've just said to them, look, Here's your calories. Make sure you hit your protein. I don't really give you know anything if you, mm. where your fat and your carbs come from. No. And it's not a case of just bashing keto either. Like with me personally, with my diet, I find I can hit my calories and hit my allowances better if I stick to protein and carbs and not very much fat. Yeah. And I stay in better shape as well if I do that. I still eat the same amount of calories. Yeah. I just find eliminating fat and eating a load of carbs and protein a lot more enjoyable for myself. Absolutely, and for 30 years I've done, like when I've competed and stuff like that, I, the first thing I've always done when I've competed is cut my carbs down. Hmm. Uh, and, and regardless of what people say, I've tried in the last couple of weeks to eat more carbs and, and my results have been a lot slower, dropping fat's been a lot slower, and my calories, I, I know people go, yeah, but that's because you've probably obviously not reduced your calories enough. Hmm. Um, nothing's changed. But I know if I cut, psychologically, I don't know what it is, but if I cut my carbs down to so say 50 grams and, and less, I just seem to feel better, I seem to have a, a better response. Now, I'm not saying that's the right way, I'm not saying that I'm going against what research tells people or what all the nutrition nu nutrition gurus and all that out there are saying. I'm saying I know what works, that seems to work for me. Okay, while we're on that subject, fasted cardio. All the research says fasted cardio, Doesn't make no advantage. Yeah. 
However, psychological advantage, which let's face it, in most sports, yeah. the psychological advantage is the, is the winning yeah. event. You say research doesn't suggest that. If you actually look at it in a slightly different way and go, well, actually, if you're fasted, your glycogen levels in your muscle are going to be lower, so you're going to have to draw on fat straight away anyway, that would argue that it is slightly more beneficial. Exactly. So there's too many contradicting research models out there. And the thing you have to remember is companies, if they want to prove something to be their way, they will pay a research company to do it. That is not That research company hasn't gone out of their way to do it themselves. That right. a, a, another company who wants to find a particular result has paid them to do it's that. What, you, it's what works for you, really. Like if you don't yeah. like eating for working out, don't eat mm. for we work out. No. So, so it's absolutely. Really so psychologically, you know, we're talking about thirty years of me doing this. I've been training and and stuff like long and these two have been on the planet. Um, so for me, I know psychologically, I I just feel better. And and we always talk about the psychological side of sport and that, you know, you can have someone who's got all the ability but their head's not quite in the game, somebody who hasn't got the ability. And you know, like them great things where you go, oh my God, that person should never have won that race. It should never, that should never have happened. It happened because they believed it, they wanted it, and they went for it. And they stuck with what, that, what makes them feel good in their own psyche. Look at what Usain Bolt did the day or the morning of him breaking the world record for 100 meters. What did he do? And he said this in his interview, he went to McDonald's and he ate some nuggets because that's what suited him and that's what helped his routine to help him tick. So he's not vegetarian then? No. <laughs> um, um, but, oh sorry, going on the whole cutting food group out or not cutting food group out as well, the thing that people neglect is cool, the research might suggest cut your calories and it doesn't matter where they come from, but that, what that doesn't look at is, is that person intolerant to any food groups? Does that person have any digestive issues with certain food groups? If you've got a digestive issue with, say, dairy, and you're chucking a load of dairy in, your gut's going to be inflamed and you aren't going to digest your food properly. And you're not going to get the result you would have done if you didn't have your dairy. And there could be people out there now going, oh, that's no nonsense because there's no such thing as no, no, no. But it doesn't really matter. There are people who have certain reactions issues and reactions. Yeah. And, but the research is saying, actually, that, doesn't, that isn't true or that could be true or we found it's this or we found it's that. I'm, I'm like, cool, I think research is essential. I think listening to research is essential. There are certain things that is complete and utter bollocks and nonsense. Um, however, if it fits you, you know, it's like if it fits your macros, let's flip that to if it fits you and your lifestyle, mm -hmm. then awesome. If you're a doctor or you feel that actually, do you know what, if I don't do something about this, I'm going to be, you know, my health is going to be... Ignoring the weight loss, ignoring what you're going to look like in a bikini or what you're going to look like this Christmas in your dress or, or, or your suit, right? You look nice in a dress, mate. Cheers, mate. I've got legs for it. Um, <laughs> fuck all that, right? Ignore all that for a second. Let's just talk about how it fits you. Yeah. If it means that you are now healthier, if it means that your blood pressure has come down, if it means that you're, you, you're no longer at risk of diabetes or it. you've reversed your type 2 diabetes because of your life, the other things that you've changed, they're fucking awesome. It baffles me, like when people don't, when we have people here and we're working with them, and they go, "Cool, how how, how long is it before I can um, I can have that again, or yeah. I can have this again?" Well, whatever you want. Like, cool, I'm like, no. well, "When do you want to be fat again?" Because <laughs> it wasn't well. The fit, that goes in with what I was going to say is a positive mindset. If you cut in a food group or add in a food group or eat something that upsets your stomach or whatever it is, impacts you mentally, and you're in a negative place of it your results are going to show that as of well. Course. If you're in a positive mindset, you've gone, right, I'm not eating carbs at the minute and I feel great. So psychologically, you're in a better place with that. Your results are going to show that as well because you're yeah. going to be able to train harder in the gym because you're positive. You're going to be able to eat better for a longer period of time because you're positive about it. If you're negative about everything, you're going to go off track real quick. Yeah, absolutely. And that mindset of like, when can I go back to eating or mm -hmm. drinking or doing what I used to, you know, and me being as flippant and saying, well, I don't know, when do you want to be fat again? You know, it boils down to it. what we're trying to say, guys. Is it's it is a lifestyle change. You eat the way that suits you, that gets you the results you require. If it means that you're going mentally, you're just going crazy, so crazy because you're on a chicken and broccoli diet. Then chicken and broccoli diet is not the yeah, diet for no. you. However, if you can make chicken and broccoli exciting and you enjoy eating it, then, then awesome. it'll work for you. Absolutely. If you if you go cool, I'm okay with that. Then awesome. If you're okay eating the same food every day because you're on it for the next ten weeks and you can do that and you know that's the only way that will get you the desired result, then that's great. Cool. Is it is it good long term? Of course not. But if it gets that result immediately and then you can then control from there, that's fine. The reason I say about like if you want to go back to that lifestyle, that unhealthy lifestyle, that going due to weight in the first place, and you go, it doesn't take a genius to go. Oh, do you know what? I've cut out 
takeaways at weekends now and I eat clean my diet and because of that I've lost two stone in the, the last main 10 weeks thing to address, then, then your answer. the main thing to sort of address is the lifestyle you are currently living that's made you unhappy or unhealthy or made you gain the weight that lifestyle is not going to help you get to where you want to be so when you go when can I go back to that well when you, when you want to go back to that scenario where you're out of shape or unhealthy or you feel crap when you want to go back to that cool go back to the current lifestyle yep but for now, if you're feeling more positive, you're feeling healthier and you're getting the results you want, stick with what you're doing. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's always gotta be about you. I find it ironic that this industry that we are in is called personal training. Um, and yet, I find the more coaches that I'm around, um, it's not personal to well, you, it's, it's, all, personal, right? it's personal to them. Mm. So they train and teach how they would eat mm -hmm. and train. That's not personal well, training, that should be called me training. Well, they basically just take what they're doing and then personalize it by doing exactly the same as they're doing, but maybe changing the calories, yeah. or maybe changing how many reps they're yeah. doing their workouts. This is why they don't, they don't look at an individual <laughs> and go, right, Wayne, who we know is going to be more positive and happier if he's not having carbs. Yeah. We'll give him, you know what, I take carbs, I have carbs, so I'm going to make you have carbs, but less of them. Yeah. It's not going to work for him. Of course. Of course. And that's not me saying Wayne needs to be keto all the time. That's just me saying I know he's going to be more positive about his training and eating if I take him away. So, do you know what, mate? Also, you saying that, I also find that the my, my results drop dramatically, like as it's slow right down, when I haven't planned what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. I'd agree. When I haven't planned what I'm eating, when I haven't brought my foods in, when I haven't thought about actually today I'm going to have that, 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 and that, and that, and I'm going to make sure that by the end of the day I've consumed it, the days that I wake up and go, I'm got, you know, I'm in a hurry, I haven't planned I'm anything. Buy it's just, isn't it? Absolutely, it's yeah. just poor food choices. Yeah. Poor food choices. So yesterday, believe it or not, I had a protein drink yesterday morning, and these guys were here, I had egg on toast. I even brought my food in with me and took it Didn't home. Eat it, yeah. Because I just I I didn't want I didn't want what I brought in I didn't want it um, so I had egg on toast in in the day and that was it and then when I went home last night the food I brought in with me I had last night which is which is shit yeah because I didn't plan it and in other weeks when I've come in with my three or four meals and I've planned my food my results that week is like wow that's 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 completely different well just look at and I know we say don't look at Instagram because it's shit because it's a bit makes you a bit negative but look at the guys that get the results. They are so consistent with what they eat and they're so meticulous with planning what they eat. Even if it has got carbs or it's got fats or it's got chocolate in it, whatever. Yeah. They're so meticulous with how they plan it so they know what's going in. Their results are 10 times quicker than everyone else's because every day they know what's going in and when it's going in. Yeah. The guys that go, well, I'm eating healthily, but I just pick and choose as I go along. Their results are a lot slower. Yeah, Yeah, sure, they get results, but they're a hell of a lot slower because it's not planned. Because even your guys in your group are really good at planning their meal, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Lot, lot, lot better. And they, they even put photos. So we got like an account. So Asia's got their, their accountability group. So they even put their photos. They send photos of their food in. Because one, it means that they've planned it, thought about it. Two, the coach, Asia, being their coach, can look at their food and kind of go, cool, that's good. That's not so good. That, and that's not enough. That You know what I mean? And correct it for them um, that way. But nobody's, I wouldn't say anybody in there. I've not seen one in one person yet put up like, just some boring plain chicken and some boring plain fucking broccoli. Because if we did, we'd be all over that. Yeah. Right. We're like, what is that? That's not, that's not fucking food. I have drilled it into them to sort of make their food interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. You've <laughs> got to. Bored shit, you though. will go out yeah. your mind. Guys, just track it as well. Absolutely. My Absolutely. fitness pal. My fitness pal. Or, or, or any of the trackers. Or, 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 or even that, a pencil yeah. and a paper. Absolutely. Guys, look, if you, the hit home message is, if it fits you, and you get the result that you're that you're looking for, and it means that you're healthier, happier, and you feel good, and you've not really struggled. You shouldn't really be struggling um, around food. Uh, you're not struggled, then do you know what? Or oh, awesome, I'm, I'm really really happy for you. Um, don't be worried about like oh, I don't I've lo I dropped two stone. And I still don't have a six pack. You drop two stone. You're healthier. It's two stone that you didn't necessarily need to be carrying. You know what I mean? So don't, you know, them the little things, six packs and all that stuff can come later. Mm -hmm. Health first, like health, happiness. They're your two things, health and happiness, and then everything else and is a bonus. If you get in with a six pack, that's a bonus. towards what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, health, happiness, positivity. There's no point attacking something until you're positive about it. Yeah. Health and happiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Might, 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 so that keeps life just stealing that off me. I'm sorry, man. And I, I have stolen it, mate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and um, so, um, guys, if you have any comments, questions, mm, uh, anything, back. please post them below the uh, this this video. And we will and address them at some point. We hopefully will. next week's Raw and Uncut. Yes, indeed. Have a great weekend, guys. We will see you all very soon on the next Raw and Uncut. Bye bye. <laughs>